Hey guys, it's Matt Barchmere from Warrior Fitness in Health and in today's short vlog I've had the question Matt, you used to do pretty good at that old bodybuilding thing How has your training changed as you've got older and you're no longer competing? So, I've wrote down four bullet points because when I was answering this question my training has really changed quite a bit as the years have gone on uh, and I wanted to prioritise what I did because I get the impression that the people that are asking me these questions, they're at maybe at a similar age to me, maybe they're coming out at the back end of a support of a sport that they were passionate about. And they're asking the question just to guide them how they can move forward in their training. So I, want, I wanted to make sure that I got this right. So the first way that my training has changed as I've got a little bit older is I listen to my body a little bit more. So... What do I mean by this? You know, if I've planned to train five times a week and I'm having a particularly tired week and I want to drop a session and have an extra rest day, I do. Because in the grand scheme of it, it's how many workouts over the year that counts, not how many workouts over a micro week. OK, so I listen to my body a little bit more. If my body needs rest, then I will rest. If... I plan a session that's particularly heavy or particularly intensive and when it's actually time for me to train, my body is saying to me, you're not really up for this intense session, you ain't got the eye of the tiger, you haven't got the adrenaline flowing, you're not You're not 100% up for this, Matt. I've learned that that's going to lead to me making mistakes, it's going to force me to do things and it's probably going to cause some injury. So on the days I don't feel like firing at 100%, I will auto-regulate and I'll drop it back down to 75-80%, whatever I want to do. So I'll get a great tick in the box of a workout, but reducing any injury factors. I listen to my body, do I need some more sleep? I, am, am, I, am I having a tired day? If I'm in a position where I can have a nap, I might do, I might do some meditation, I might go for a walk in nature. But sometimes it's just about listening to your body and instinctively we know what's right. Now, in my 20s and 30s, I was rubbish at this. You know, if I planned to train five times a week, I was hitting my five. Every workout had to count. Every workout had to be to failure. Every workout I had to try and break myself. Um, that's no longer the case. I listen to my body now moving forward so that's point number one how my training has changed um point number two how my um training has changed i've cut out what were called the mandatory exercises so in the strength and the power sport and the bodybuilding sport there are certain key exercises that needed to be done to get your body to where it needed to get I've been doing them moves for about 30 odd years and so the odd workout where I want to mix it up and change it and do something slightly different, that's absolutely fine. So if I've got a squatting session coming up and I'm not feeling at 100%, I've got a bit of a tight lower back, or I'm a little bit tired of this that, and the other, I might do some single leg pistol squats, I might do some Bulgarian split squats, um, but I'm going to steer away from the mandatory exercises because as long as I get the training stimulus for th for that day then that's fine as well and I don't need to follow a set of rules I can it links in with number one where I can listen to my body and move away from what's mandatory and do do more of what feels better for me right point number three of how my training has changed I'm adopting more core training I'm adopting more mobility and stretching and I'm doing more foam rollering and I'm incorporating monthly treatment of either a chiropractor or some sort of sports massage. I am 46 this year. I've done a lot of competing. My body has took a lot of abuse over the years. I'm at the point in my life now where... I need to start servicing my car a little bit more often. I need to start changing the oil a little bit more often. I need to make sure the rust is getting dealt with straight away. So I'm nurturing myself a little bit more now to preserve my later 
years and that's purely for the fact that I've got no intention of retiring from what I love when I'm 65. I intend to be able to do what I do for as long as I can in different forms and that's going to involve me being able to move fluidly it's going to be able to I need to be able to give demos I need to be able to give instruction so I'm doing more core mobility, more flexibility, more roller in and more treatment to look after and preserve myself so my body will not let me down as I get into later years. So I guess summarising point number three, I'm finding the balance a little bit more. Yes, I lift heavy. Yes, I enjoy my weight training, my cardio, but I'm also doing some of the softer side of things just to nurture the joints, the soft tissues, etc. And lastly, point number four. Now, I've been talking to this to you guys for a long time, and but it applies to my training. I'm now focused more on the process rather than the product. Now, what do I mean by this? I've used the analogy before, if you're swimming across a lake to a tree, don't be too fixated on the tree and keep swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming and the tree never seems to be getting any closer, etc. I'll break it down and I'll talk about the process and just focus on doing a nice economical stroke, get your breathing right, and then maybe every minute just have a look. Yeah, I'm on direction, just carry on. Or I'm going a little bit off, just tweak. So my training now is more about the process rather than the product. So I'm less now about how is my body going to look at the end of the year? What is my body fat percentage going to be? What is... What is my time for this? What is my personal best going to be on this? And it's more about making sure every workout is firstly done and it's high quality and I'm going to keep myself in an injury-free state. Because I know what I've seen over the years is when I work on the process and I'll get every workout right, get it right, get it right, get it right, stay injury free, get it right, nurture yourself. By the time I get to the end of the year, I've, I've hit my goals anyway. So it's good to have an eye on your goals, but don't be fixated on them so much that you forget about the day-to-day -day enjoyment. So I'm hoping that helps. I think I might have had questions from people regarding this because they're in a similar situation and they're just... Instead of them saying, have you got any pointers for my training to move forward, they're asking me, how has your training evolved since you stopped bodybuilding, competing and all that sort of stuff. So I'm really hoping that this has been of service and you can apply this to other areas of your life, whether it be financial, family or personal development, etc. So I hope this has been of service to you. If it has, please, please press the like button and press share and so lots of other people can see this. It's all free content. I'm not trying to sell anything. I'm just trying to inspire people in the local uh, Tamworth, Warwickshire and uh, Staffordshire community and trying to increase health as much as I can. Um, if you want to know any more about my work, my boot camps, personal training, nutrition, life coaching, do a Google or social media search for Matt Bartram PT or go straight to my website which is www.personaltrainertamworth.com. Have a great day and I'll see you all soon and don't forget, work on your processes, just keep an eye on the product, don't be fixated. Love you all loads.